breaking news, twin massacres. A gunman opens fire in Dayton, Ohio, hours after the carnage at a Texas Walmart. The second mass shooting in less than a day. Nine people killed when a gunman goes on a rampage in the popular downtown Dayton area, filled with people enjoying a summer evening. We got shots fired, we got multiple people down. One of the multiple medics. The injured rush to hospitals. What we're learning about the shooting this morning. As we said, though, this is a back-to-back -back tragedy. Just hours earlier, a gunman going on a relentless shooting rampage in El Paso, Texas, gunning down dozens of people, killing at least 20. The situation, needless to say, is a horrific one. Shoppers running for their lives. AK, my gosh. Diving for cover as shots ring out. Survivors traumatized, now sharing those terrifying moments. He's going for blood. He's going for death. We're learning about the victims this morning, with several still fighting for their lives. This is not a sprint. This is going to be a marathon. New details about the alleged shooter described as a man on a mission. Sources identifying the suspect as investigators look into a potential motive. It has a nexus at this point in time to a hate crime. And this morning, El Paso. So strong. Our community will not be defined by this senseless, evil act of violence. The community banding together. We are a special community. Lining up to help and remembering the victims overnight with a prayer vigil. We have live team coverage from El Paso with all the latest. Live from ABC News in New York, this is Good Morning America. And good morning, everybody. Once again, in America, we are waking up to horrifying news involving mass shootings, this time two in 24 hours.